The UIM F1H Tour World Championship returns to Liuzhou, China. Liuzhou is a hidden gem, just waiting to be discovered. This place has got it all. Lush natural beauty in a tropical climate. The characteristic limestone hills draped in lush flora. Top-notch Chinese food, millions of young people, and water everywhere. The mighty Liu River winds through the city, lending it a picturesque, almost quaint, riverside atmosphere next to what is in fact a bustling city of nearly four million. More than anything, this is a city for young people who feel more and more connected with the outside Western world and who have hopes and aspirations that mirror the ambitious future vision of China. Naturally, the city offers stunning contrasts between a proud 5,000-year-old culture and history and a bustling, dynamic, modern China of the 21st century. Larger-than-life temples that come alive at night, high-end shopping streets, and an amazing nightlife. Liuzhou is hosting round three of the 2013 F1 H2O World Championship. That's part of a week-long sports celebration that includes F4 races and the Aquabike World Championship. This, the 19th Chinese Grand Prix, marks a major milestone in F1 H2O history as Liuzhou has the honor of hosting the 250th F1 H2O Grand Prix. H2O president Niccolo de San Germano has been the promoter of the sport for nearly a quarter of a century. Uh, for me, I remember each of those events and each one is a, something special for me. So I'm uh, very happy to have reached uh, 250 Formula One Grand Prix. I think in power boating history, we are the only series who has uh, done so many uh, events. And uh, definitely we look uh, forward to arrive to minimum 500. So here we are in China in what is a milestone in the world of Formula One powerboat racing. We're at 250th Grand Prix and haven't things changed so much over the years? The whole sport has become a lot more professional, it's a lot more exciting to watch and we're covering the globe basically as we are today. Uh, we race everywhere from South America, we're in Asia, we're all over Europe. So the sport itself has just grown over the years and become the spectacle that we have here today. This year's China Grand Prix promises to be as exciting as ever as the World Championship heats up, going into round three with 17 drivers from eight teams competing. delight of local crowds, their very own China CTIC team comes out of the last round in Kiev, Ukraine, riding a high with a spectacular win. Philip Shiap had his brand new, more designed and built boat. It proved an incredible success as Shiap passed round one winner, Sammy Celio of Mad Croc team early on and then never looked back, winning his first Grand Prix in 83 starts. Yes, uh, Kiev, uh, it's a big day, big race for, for us, but uh, in Liuzo it's uh, at home and uh, the pressure is uh, at maximum and uh, we, we hope for the good result. Yeah. China CTIC also sports rookie Zhang Ziwei, who will have massive amounts of local F1 fans rooting for him. 
At the top of the world rankings, going into round three is Team... <laughs> Qatar's Sean Torrente, who's had two runner-up finishes so far from Kiev and Brasilia. It was at this very race last year, in a fierce battle for first after a restart, that he was involved in a controversial crash with Sami Celio, which got him suspended from racing for the remainder of the 2012 season. Going well, back to the scene of the crime. So uh, I hope for redemption here in a little bit. Of, I, I, I want to win, absolutely. I want to win here. Of all the places on the schedule, I want to win here because of everything that happened last year. So that's our goal. It's our goal every weekend, but especially this weekend. Sammy Celio is just one point behind Torrente, but he'll have to overcome the memory of a horrendous last few years in Liu Zhou, where he crashed out in 2012 and was badly injured in a frightening accident the year before that. No, the condition is pretty good and uh, it's very nice course, very fast. I had bad accident here two, two, two years ago, but uh, it seems to not slowing me down. So the testing went well and uh, we, I, I'm quite confident that we have good speed here. And let's not forget defending two-time world champion Alex Corella, currently ranked fourth. He's had two third place finishes so far this year but a win has eluded him thus far, and he's running out of time if he's to defend his title in 2013. Team Abu Dhabi's Daniel Kamzi was a runner-up here last year, and he's always a big threat. Uh, last year I was the winner here, and I hope this year uh, I try my best yesterday. Uh, I have the old boat, the, the new boat still stuck in the container in Hong Kong, not coming. But I try my best with the, the, this boat. I hope and uh, get in the same place as last year. And there's a new face at the Chinese Grand Prix with the return of American F1 legend Terry Rinker, a seven-time North American champion who just won his seventh F1 US title in 11 years. He joins Team Azerbaijan. But they'll all be up against a field full of fierce, highly experienced racers ready to pounce the first chance they get. The hottest new piece of equipment on the tour is Philip Schiap's brand new boat, with which he just won the Ukraine Grand Prix. Here's the boat's builder and designer, David Moore. So, uh, to introduce this new boat for uh, Philippe Chap this year, we made a new, a new Formula One. It's a little bit different than the last year boat he has. Uh, we make a lot of modification and work on the, on the tunnel, underneath the boat, uh, for the suction. I cannot tell you uh, every detail on this, of course. The boat is a little bit shorter. And we have a new air intake for the engine. And uh, we are um, this boat twin in Kiev with a, quite a big gap on the other boats. Uh, we think it's more easy to drive than, than the others in the waves and uh, it's fast too. So we cross finger and hope for this race to, to be leading this race. Yes, this boat is um, very light and uh, easy to drive on the, on the straight line. It's very easy to fly and uh, in the turn it, like the, my old boat I, I like this boat in the turn but uh, for qualification this boat is very fast the 2000 meter china grand prix circuit on the liu river features five left hand turns and one right hand turn with variable river conditions including strong currents Qualifying is divided into three rounds, Q1, Q2, and Q3, to determine the starting lineup. In Q1, boats have 20 minutes to qualify, with five boats to be eliminated. The 12 remaining boats advance to Q2, where six more are eliminated, setting the stage for the Q3 shootout, where the remaining six boats get two laps each and the course to themselves as they battle it out for pole position. In Q1, all the top names qualified easily, 
The real competition was to make it into the top 12. Ronaldo Scolati of Team Nautica was unable to do a lap. Polish singer racing team driver Bartek Marsalek was over five seconds off the pace. Oskolati's teammate Marit Stromoy was in a fight against young Finn Philip Roms of Mad Croc team, whose boat broke down, sending Stromoy into Q2 by just four hundredths of a second. Xiong Zhi Wei was unable to make the cut in front of his home crowd, while Terry Rinker just qualified in 11th place above Stromoy. In Q2, 12 votes do battle for six spots. Celio, Shiap, Torrente, Corella, and Cantando were comfortably through and back at the pontoon. Team Azerbaijan's Jonas Anderson and teammate Terry Rinker were struggling about a second off the pace. F1 GC Atlantic's Yusuf Al Rubayan was unable to repeat his Kiev Q3 showing, bowing out in ninth place. His teammate Duarte Benevente also didn't make it. As the clock wound down, the battle for sixth spot was between Team Abu Dhabi teammates Ahmed Al Hamali and Dani Al Kamzi. With just seven seconds left, Al Kamzi pipped Al Hamali for sixth spot. It's going to be an intense battle in the final qualifying round, with less than a second separating the fastest four boats in Q2. Q3, first out, Al Kamzi but he was immediately one-upped by veteran Francesco Cantando of Singer Racing Team, the winningest driver on the tour. Next up, two-time defending world champion Alex Corella. He found the zone, glided through the course, barely touching the water, pure perfection, setting the best lap time so far, 45.5 seconds. He's followed by Sean Torrente. He pushed too hard on his first lap. A small mistake ruins it. Second lap, he makes no mistake, keeps it tight and clean. But he misses it by just four hundredths of a second. Just Shiap and Celio left. Shiap pushes his new boat, but it's not fast enough as he sets a time of 46.08 currently third behind Torrente. Finally, Sammy Celio. He won pole position in Brasilia and Kiev this year. Can he make it three and three? Corella nervously looks on. He wants to put an end to his bad luck so far this year. Celio typically gives it his all. He gets a time of 45.92. Corella has pole position. Celio settles for third. John Torrente holds on to second position, setting Team Qatar up perfectly for a 1-2 start. Shiap will have to fight back from fourth. Jonas Anderson in striking distance at eighth. Yeah, I'm really happy today. I really, I know it was one moment of the championship that I have to give my maximum. I wanted really to take this ball from uh, this morning. I gave really everything of me in these two laps, and I'm happy for the team. They make a really great job. So I had one ball that was just perfect. Corella is back in the game. With just hours left to race, preparations continued apace. Terry Rinker's boat was damaged in morning practice, leaving Team Azerbaijan very little time to rig up the spare boat. It is a pretty involved process because we have to change everything. We have to pull. Uh, we have to fish. unrig this boat and rig that boat in two hours. Motor, gear keys, everything, safety equipment. Hey, does that have a radio box? No. Nope.
Francesco Contando starts the race in fifth position. China's Grand Prix is a very nice Grand Prix. <laughs> First of all, because it's very followed by people, and it's nice to see a lot of people watching us. Uh, this race is not easy. It's a dangerous and fast race. Uh, I like it, and uh, let's see what is uh, going to happen. 17 drivers from 13 nations and eight teams were lined up and ready for the 38-lap race in this historic 250th F1 Grand Prix. The final countdown to the start. They're off. The 250th Grand Prix race is underway. Surely enough, Corella and Torrente speed off to the commitment boy ahead of the pack. Torrente is right up there with Corella, but it's the Italian who has the inside lane advantage as he takes the lead early on. Sammy Celio a few boat lengths back in third. There we see Schiaps on board as the Frenchman in fourth place takes a little shower from Sammy Celio. Contando trying to regain fifth place from Tani Alcamzi. The key to this race is acceleration. With five left turns and one right turn, drivers will want to get in and out of those turns quick and accelerate well down those straights. Yusuf al Rabayan off to a decent start, hanging in there in the top 10. Chasing down the Qatar boats will be no mean feat for Sami Celio, who just hasn't had the speed he's wanted in practice and qualifying here. Speed is no issue at all for Corella, on the other hand. The Italian won here last year, and he looks good for a repeat so far. Young Chinese racer Liu Zhong is still gaining experience and he seems to be slowing down. He's in trouble yet again, and it's curtains for young Leo as his boat comes to a halt. As the green flag comes out, Chinese hopes now rest with Philip Xiap. Alex Corella deals well with the bunch up, immediately opening his lead again, as Celio now pushes on Torrente in second. It was at a restart last year that Celio and Torrente had that fateful crash but they seem to be keeping their distance from each other this time. In lap six, Cantando has moved back ahead of Alcamzi with no change in the top four. Garella has been fast throughout the week and he's keeping up that good form. Santando has overtaken Philip Schiap to move into fourth place. Great performance from the Italian racer as his team members look on from the timing area. After a good start, Ahmed Al Hamali has slowed down and he's going head to head with Maritz Stromoy in 11th place. Trouble also for Contando, he's slowing down. What a shame, the veteran Italian was going strong in fourth. Into lap 11, Corella is lapping the back markers in the race. Here, he laps Rinaldo Oscolati. The defending China Grand Prix champion and two-time defending world champion Corella has been fending Torrente off successfully all race, maintaining a steady two-second gap with his American teammate. Further back, Rinaldo Oscolati, the oldest driver on the tour. Carella opens his lead over Torrente to 2.39 seconds. Schiap back up in fourth place. Last year's runner-up here, Alcamzi in fifth. Anderson in sixth, 19 seconds off the pace. In ninth position is Terry Rinker, who made the race by the skin of his teeth. Carella, meanwhile, has also lapped Ahmed Al Hamali, and he then moves on to put another lap on Philip Roms. He's followed by Sean Torrente, who's been unable to put a dent in Corella's lead all race. Torrente slows down. Torrente has a problem. Celio, Schiap, and Alcamzi pass him by, but he manages to keep on going. Schiap has been somewhat underwhelming after that amazing performance in Kiev, 
He may have forsaken acceleration for top speed here and gone with too big a prop on his brand new Moore boat. Celio has moved up to second after Torrente dropped back to seventh. Oscolati oh, bringing up the rear in 12th position. Cantando and Coles are out, but their teammate Bartek Marsalek is going well in eighth. Polish racer Marsalek comes from a proud racing line, and he's poised for some well-earned points if he can see this race through. Carella is extra careful on that tricky right turn. He doesn't want to jeopardize his lead. Yusuf Al-Rabayan in seventh, stays a step ahead of Marsalek. The Kuwaiti driver looking to get points on the board, a third race in a row this year. Out ahead, Carella has a comfortable 3.67 second lead over Celio in the 22nd lap, with just 16 laps to go now in the race. Celio in his Baba boat just can't seem to find an answer to Corella's super fast DAC today, which is showing exceptional acceleration. A good setup from Team Qatar for this race. Jonas Anderson putting in a solid race as well, driving aggressively in fifth, trying to hold off the Torrente challenge right behind him. Despite that problem earlier on that caused him to relinquish his second position, Torrente is racing hard, trying to move back up into the top five, recording some blistering lap times. Team Azerbaijan will be happy to have both boats still in the race. One in fifth, the other ninth, as Anderson and Rinker chase down some precious points. Chiap is in third position, on target for a podium, but too far off the pace to hope to catch up with Carella or even Celio. Lap 30, Celio not pushing too hard, perhaps sensing that just holding on to a runner-up finish is the smartest way to go here, rather than trying to risk it all to catch Corella. The dogfight continues to unfold between Anderson and Torrente, the American trying to gain on the experienced Swede, but Anderson has the acceleration and he has the skill to ward off the Torrente challenge as the two engage in a nip and tuck through the circuit. Just behind Celio, the Ukraine Grand Prix champion, Shiap, keeping one eye on Al Kamzi in fourth. The battle continues between Anderson and Torrente. Torrente just unable to get the better of the Swede, but he's giving it 100% out there as they lap Philip Roms. The man from Miami is not giving up. Going inside, going outside, trying to find some kind of dent in Anderson's armor, but to no avail. Anderson keeps his cool, continues to drive like he's in it to win it. No such luck for his teammate, Terry Rinker. He has a problem, and the American F1 champion is forced to retire with just a few laps left to go. The laps tick away. Anderson keeps his lead over Torrente. Torrente tries to get on the inside there at boy number two, but Anderson just manages to shut him out. Exciting stuff. Up ahead of them, Shiap also now seems to be making a move on Celio, but Celio holds tight. The positions stay the same till the final lap. Alex Corella on his way to his first win in 2013. And Corella wins this historic 250th F1 race and the Chinese Grand Prix. Celebrations for Team Qatar. Celio is well-deserved runner-up, closing the gap at the end to just 1.45 seconds. Xiap on the podium again. al on seventh. Great result for Marsalek in eighth. Two precious points for Roms in ninth. al Hamali tenth. The remaining seven boats unable to finish the race. The man of the hour is Alex Carella. He's back in contention for a third straight world title now with just three Grand Prix left in the Middle East. The win catapults Carella to tie with Celio on top of the standings. Shiap third, Torrente drops to fourth, Cantando seventh, and Marsalek moves into the top 10. There's the traditional Team Qatar victory parade lap. 
they put together a great boat, a great setup, prepared well, and they had the drivers to bring home the trophy. They now move to the top of the team rankings ahead of Mad Croc, China CTIC, and their perennial rivals, Team Abu Dhabi. To win is really good, especially in this uh, moment of the championship like last year in China. So now uh, make me comfortable for the rest of the season. Need to be happy for the second. I get uh, not perfect start, and then uh, I was fighting for the third place with uh, with Chan, and after he had some problems. I was able to, to pass him and uh, then was just trying to catch the Alex, but he was too fast today to me and uh, I'm happy to be second. Good driver, Sami is a very good driver, it's uh, very difficult to overtake. I have uh, one chance and it's uh, very close, but uh, okay, uh, we finished third for the championship is good. Uh, this year uh, my team is very strong and uh, we can do uh, in Doha a good result and after why not? That concludes the 250th Grand Prix. See you in Doha, Qatar for round four of the 2013 UIM F1 H2O World Championship. <laughs>